Hey guys, it's Jenny Pop and Brooches. And it's time to unbox the band box for June. Now you can't see him lick my face. Uh, so yeah, let's check it out. Ready? Are you ready, Brooches? So the first item we have is the button, and it's the truffle shuffle from the Goonies. You like the Goonies, right? Yes, he does. He likes the Goonies. Next item, we have these really cool shades. So apparently people wore these in the 80s. Uh, it reminds me of Jordy a lot in Star Trek, which I remember from the 90s. So maybe I'm not old enough to remember when people used to, to rock these. They're cool. Uh, see how good I can navigate this box wearing these. Um, okay, so this is the 80s. So every week or every month, there's a competition in the band box where you actually take a photo, you put, hashtag it, the band box, with your favorite item, like it would be me wearing these, and then you could win this awesome item, which is the arcade game sign of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This I do remember playing, for sure. Unfortunately, the shades had to go. <laughs> so the next item is... A license plate. I believe this is from Back to the Future. Um, so let me see if I can confirm this. Time out. Time in. Uh, so yeah, so looking at the little handy dandy sheet that kind of explains what's in the box, it looks like you'll either get the out of time license plate or the barcode replica license plate from Back to the Future. So I got the barcode one. Next item. Unfortunately, this, this was a bit of a spoiler, but I tried not to look at anything beyond what I was looking for. So hopefully I didn't see anything. But what I did see looked cool if I saw anything. So the next item is a signed print of Slammer from the artist Rocky Davies. Uh, it's really cool. Who are you going to call? This is a really cool... Just take away the autograph. It's a really cool print. It's Slamer. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to watch the real Ghostbusters all the time. Uh, I used to always pretend I was Winston. He was like my favorite Ghostbusters, and I never thought he got enough time in the movies, but I do think he got the best line. Like, Ray, when someone asks if you're a guy, you say yes. You say yes. Like, again, I, he was my favorite. <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the next item. So this is what I was hoping I didn't spoil for myself and I didn't because I just saw it, but I didn't see the whole thing. Okay, this is a signed picture of by the Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio. Uh, it is from the All Valley Championship uh, when he's going against Johnny uh, and he sweeps a leg and he does the crane kick and it's signed by Ralph Macchio. And this is... This is so exciting. Uh, it's right there um, in silver. And it's awesome because I've seen this movie like a bazillion times. Uh, and I love that he was like 25 when he made this movie too, which is awesome. He was actually 30, I believe, or 29 in the third one, which is, he has really good genes. Um, he's got the baby face. Uh, and as someone who also has a baby face, I totally respect that. Uh, and I think he's one of those people, if I met him, would probably freak out. Like, I met Matthew Modine once from Vision Quest, and I literally, like, freaked out. Like, it was it was really embarrassing. I was like, by the way, I love you, uh, but when are you ever going to have a chance to tell Matthew Modine you love him? Like, you're going to, you know, take that chance. So if you love Ralph Macchio, tell him you love him if you see him. I will. So this is awesome. This is by far... The coolest, yeah, this is lost for words. Lost for words. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm going to frame this. Eee! So the next item, we'll see. Uh, this spam box so far has been awesome. Uh, I, I am kind of for lost for words. Excuse me for that wrestling sound. It's my, it's my puppy. He's in here with me today. Um, oh... So this is Simon from Alvin and the Chipmunks, um, and this appears to be a original drawing from the original 80s Alvin and the Chipmunks. Um, holy crap. Jesus. Oh my god. So I usually don't say curse words though crap isn't really a curse word but oh my god jesus christ um 
<laughs> this is so cool. It's by John Loman, Animation Inc. Archive. So this is a hundred percent confirmation. What that this is from Alvin and the Chipmunks in studio hand drawing of my man Simon. Uh oh my gosh. I like Theodore too though, because he likes food and I really like food. Um as a tree. Wow. Oh my gosh. This is okay. So if you haven't jumped on the band box bandwagon or the band bandwagon, uh, I would say do that. Jeez, look at this stuff. This is one of a kind. This is crazy. Alvin and the Chipmunks. I recently saw the new Nickelodeon album and Chipmunks that is like CGI and they look like little human hybrids. Not cool. And I was just thinking of how much I miss the OGs. Uh, and wow, that is so cool. So a little side fact about me. Sometimes don't that that wasn't that. That was just this. Don't worry, that's safe. Um, but sometimes I like to watch old commercials from the 80s and 90s for kids programming because it's just you know nostalgia so I think that's really cool so yeah so many cool stuff um from the band box I can't even so it, it was 80s month I'm gonna put these on to sign off um so I'm Jenny Pop just enjoy now uh subscribe thumbs up also look into the band box it's amazing. Let me know if you also um, are a Bambox subscriber, because uh, you should be. This is probably the coolest, again, the best stuff is, is from the Bambox so far. Uh, no filler, all thriller, uh, another 80s reference there. And I will see you guys later. Did people actually wear this in the 80s? Because I think I should bring it back and I should like wear it outside right now. Puppy, what do you think? Puppy, you think I should wear these? Do you agree? Yep, nope, that's a yes. That's a yes.